Hi, I'm Bruce Vomgen, Postgres core team member and EDB employee. Today, I'll be talking about databases in the AI trenches. I've always been curious about how AI, how AI worked, and I had the opportunity to do a lot of research to understand the internals of exactly how AI is processed. And as part of that, I was able to understand how databases can be most effectively used for AI workloads. I think that might be the most important thing I'm going to be talking about today. We do have a lot of slides, uh, but it should be an interesting presentation. Hi, everyone. My name is David Rowley, and I'm a Postgres committer at Microsoft. And today I'm here to talk to you about what's new in the Postgres 18 Query Planner. And this talk is going to be useful for anyone who is thinking of upgrading to Postgres 18 when it's released later this year, or anyone who's thinking of migrating to Postgres and wants to check in on the latest features. Hi, I'm Yalta, and I work at MotherDuck, and I'll talk about how PGDuckDB can make your analytics queries in Postgres faster and easier to write. Hello, my name is Heik Lindegangers. I am going to talk about how we made Postgres serverless at Neon. Stay tuned if you want to hear how do you cloud providers run services in uh, behind the scenes. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining my session today. My name is Shinya Kato, and I'm a database engineer at NTT Data Japan Corporation. Today, I will talk about post Postgres extensions. The title of my talk is Can We Use Plus to Develop Extensions for Postgres? If you're someone who is passionate about Postgres extensions, development, or curious about how Rust fits into the picture. This presentation is for you. Hi there, I'm Johannes from Mercedes-Benz R&D in Sindelfing, Germany. In my session about Azure Postgres Security, I dive into details how you can make your database more secure, and I will focus about network security and access management. I'll cover all the basics and explain how it works together, so no prior knowledge is required. I want you to be ready to build your own solution in this space. Hello everyone, myself Palak Chaturvedi. I am a software engineer at Microsoft. Uh, hi everyone, myself Nitin Jadav. I'm a senior software engineer at Microsoft. Today, uh, myself and Palak are going to talk about uh, debugging data corruptions in PostgreSQL, a systematic approach. We will explain our experience on handling corruption problems first, and then we will summarize with the approaches to handling corruption cases, including best practices. The attendees can apply these techniques to avoid corruptions at first place, and also learn how to detect and recover from the corruptions if it happens. Hello, I'm Ashutosh Bapak, major contributor to PostgreSQL. I'm part of PostgreSQL contributors team at Microsoft. Today, I will talk about logical replication, which is a relatively new PostgreSQL feature, and it receives a lot of improvements in every release. Hello, uh, my name is Paulina Bungina. I work as a senior software engineer at Zalando, a European e-commerce platform. But I'm also a co-maintainer of Patroni project, and today I want to share with you some insights about how it works, uh, which might be helpful for everyone who is building or operating uh, high availability for PostgreSQL. Hello, my name is Sibano. I work on Postgres in Microsoft Azure, and I'm here today to talk about .NET and Postgres as the next uh, open source application development stack for your solutions that can run on uh, your on-prem, cloud, mobile, uh, and many other uh, platforms uh, and interacting maybe with uh, uh, the next-gen AI models that Azure is provide. Hi, everyone. My name is Nato Alonso Portillo. I'm a principal technical product manager in the After Database for Password SQL team. In this session, I'll be introducing a fantastic feature in which we keep investing to extend its scope and evolve its functionality. If you're interested in this session, if you're a system engineer, a developer, or a database administrator, who is struggling with performance issues. 